Welcome everyone to the disaggregation and device labeling demo. Uh, disaggregation is available through an API, but many customers had been asking for visualizations and labeling capabilities. So this dashboard was created for such interactions. I'm going to provide a brief demo of the dashboard, which is still in beta, but it is viewable with a direct link. So if you have disaggregation enabled on your Vertigris systems, uh, contact us and we'll provide you with a way to access that information. So let's get started with some quick uh, definitions. Disaggregation for us is the separation of a measured uh, aggregate data signal into component waveforms. It's performed by an algorithm that uses AI neural networks and retrains every two weeks. It does best with devices that uh, turn on and off and have discrete changes in state. And I'll mention that if a device has multiple electrical components, for example, a dishwasher, it might have a heater, a water pump, or other motors, uh, those will all be uh, separately detected as different electrical signals. Now, device labeling is the classification of the waveform and the naming of the waveform to a device. Labeling can be done in this dashboard and it helps you visualize your data in different groups and it helps uh, Vertigris by building our data library um, for a long-term future vision where we could uh, auto detect and identify a device using our own AI. So let's quickly walk you through the dish dashboard uh, starting from the top and working down this first um, piece of information is the percentage of energy labeled. It's pretty self-explanatory um, here as you interact with this dashboard and you identify more circuits, then um, it'll just collect it and roll it up. This There's a toggle bar where there's a clustering algorithm that um, clusters together similarly operating devices. For example, if there were lights or motors that had um, similar characteristic behavior, there's an algorithm where you could hit the toggle button and see those uh, clustered by colors. Um, devices that are identified after filtered um, show up here. So if you have different filtering criteria, um, it'll show the number of devices that are detected. And finally, in the right, for uh, devices that you would want to group together and label separately, uh, that is what you can do in this top right corner. For example, if you had that dishwasher and you wanted to put together all its different components, you could group them together and label it as a single dishwasher. Or if you had a, a certain manufacturing line and wanted to put all those devices together, um, this is where you could group them all and label them. Okay, moving to the left frame is where there's different filtering criteria for the data. First, based on the device's usage, energy usage or power, there's scroll bars where you can um, select for different demand consumption, power factor, and energy. There's a filter based on the schedule of operation of the devices, based on a uh, day of the week, um, hours of the day, and when it might have last operated within the last week. And finally, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to filter uh, based on the panel and the breaker. So this will take a little bit to, time to run, but it's going to try to identify all the devices associated with this breaker. Um, it's already showing at the top that there are seven devices associated with this breaker that it can see. And now it's come up. And at the bottom, you can zoom in and hone in on a specific time period and the different devices can be selected 
and deselected visually at the bottom. When you hover over the line on the graph, you will see the metadata associated with that device. And here it is that you can select and label the device. We'll say test. Um, you can also show similar devices that have similar operating equipment, uh, see its kilowatt hour consumption at the certain time of day. So that's a quick demo of this dashboard. Again, if you have any questions, you can contact us at support.vertigris.co. And I hope you have some happy data device labeling. <laughs>